Hi, one of the most misdiagnosed faults in pneumatics is where it's decided that air is leaking out of a valve through the exhaust port and it's perceived that the valve is actually leaking, whereas it actually could be the actuator that's leaking. Here we've got a typical example of a pneumatic system. We have a filter regulator, a lubricator, hooked up to a valve, in this case it's a single solenoid valve, hooked up to the actuator. And just to explain briefly the actuator, here we have an air cylinder, double acting, so we've got two ports. We put normally air in, say, the, the end port here to extend the cylinder. While it's extending, the air is also exhausting out this port back through the valve. So the exhausting air is going back through the valve. Likewise, when we retract the cylinder, we put air into this end, the cylinder retracts, and we have exhausting air coming out of this port back through the valve and exhausting out the exhaust port of the valve. So that's what a typical system looks like. Here we have a valve. Uh, it's a single solenoid valve, five port, two position. We have one, two, three ports here, two ports here, that's why it's called a five port, an inlet port, two exhaust ports, and two cylinder ports. This is a solenoid valve, and um, that's normally hooked up to an air cylinder in this manner. And so we, this is a very typical system. Here we have a symbolic version of what I explained previously, physically. Drawing number one shows the cylinder retracted. We have air coming in through this flow path, going into the front end of the cylinder, holding the piston back. The exhausted air came out through this exhaust port of the valve. When the cylinder extends, we energize the solenoid valve. We now have a different flow path, air coming in through this cylinder port into the back of the cylinder, forcing the piston forward. The exhausting air coming out through the other exhaust port of the valve. Once the cylinder has extended, there should now be no air exhausting out through the exhaust port of the valve. If there is air exhausting out of here, it's because the actuator is leaking, we're getting bypass, and it continues to exhaust out of the valve. Okay, so at the moment, uh, the cylinder is retracted when the solenoid valve is de-energized. If we energize the solenoid, we're now going to extend the shaft. So while it's extending, we have air coming into the back end and exhausting air coming out of here and that's while it's extended. Once the cylinder has fully extended, the air that was exhausting out of here should now have stopped. If it continues to exhaust out of here, it's probably not the valve, it's probably more likely to be the actuator, a faulty seal within the cylinder causing air to bypass and go out still through the exhaust port. Now how do you check that? Because the air is coming out the exhaust port and it sounds or it looks like the valve is leaking. The easiest way to do it is very simple. You either take the fitting off at the valve and if there is air leaking out and coming down through that hose from the cylinder, then it's the cylinder that's leaking, not the valve. Likewise, if we retract the cylinder, there's air now coming into here to retract it. We have exhausting air coming out now through this exhaust port. And when the cylinder is fully retracted, there should be now no exhausting air coming out of this exhaust port. However, if air is still coming out of this exhaust port, once again, it's probably likely that the cylinder is leaking, one of the seals is damaged. The way to check for that again is to either take the hose off here or here, and if there is air coming out of the actuator when the cylinder is retracted, then we know that it's the cylinder that's leaking and not the valve. However, if, for example, you, when you do take the fitting out of here and there's no air coming out of the cylinder and we're still getting air leaking out of the exhaust port, then we know for sure that it's probably the valve that's leaking.